The deadly king cobra is the longest of all venomous snakes. It can live for decades in the wild, and this powerful reptile feeds mostly on other snakes. These snakes are found mostly in the rainforests and swamps of Asia, and they prefer habitats with thick vegetation such as mangrove thickets and bamboo. The most venomous snake on the planet, the king cobra, can literally stand up and look a full-grown person in the eye. Once they're confronted, they can lift up to a third of their body and still be ready to attack. Luckily, they're considered shy, so would avoid humans whenever possible. Characteristics The king cobra is one of the longest of all venomous snakes. In the animal kingdom, there are hundreds of species of venomous snakes, and the king cobra is definitely the longest. An adult snake can weigh up to 20 pounds and be 10 to 12 feet in length. The longest king cobra on record was measured at 18 feet. As a comparison, the python, which is the longest non-venomous snake, can reach 20 feet in length. King cobra is famous for producing a distinctive hood that flares around its face when it's on the defensive. The markings they have are unique only to their kind, and they have them on this hood, as well as other parts of the snake's body. It's actually a system of rib bones and muscles that can flex and move, even though at first glance, it looks like a part of the snake's skin. The king cobra spreads these ribs and fans out the hood as it hisses to make itself appear larger and more dangerous. Their venom is a deadly neurotoxin. Poisonous snakes are generally divided into two categories, hematoxic and neurotoxic. Hematoxins are usually the kind found in rattlesnakes and vipers and affect the bloodstream. A neurotoxin, on the other hand, is any poison that directly affects the nervous system. The venom of a king cobra is neurotoxin, and even just this small amount can send its prey into paralysis. Moreover, a human can die within minutes of being bitten, and a large animal, such as a lion or elephant, can die in several hours. That's how incredibly poisonous it is. Did you know that king cobras are considered cannibalistic? Yes, they really only eat other snakes. On occasion, they might eat some small animal, a bird or a rodent, but that's more characteristic of a common cobra. Cobra's stomachs have adapted with digestive juices, so even if the other snake is venomous, they can break down the poison and render it safe. Their prey is eaten whole, only because they don't have any teeth. Their jaws have the ability to open wide and stretch. They'll need only a few minutes to swallow a whole animal. Along with a variety of other snakes, king cobras can spend months without eating. As they pass through naturally wet areas such as marshes, creek beds, and streams, they will absorb the water through their bellies. Female cobras make nests. When they prepare to lay their eggs, they create a nest of leaves and twigs, and this usually happens in spring. A group of eggs, or a clutch, can be as many as 50 eggs. She remains on guard in the nest until the snakes are hatched, and that takes several months. Hatchlings are able to take care of themselves from the beginning and can even bite if necessary. From the hatchling state, it takes about four years for a king cobra to reach full maturity. Their biggest predator is the mongoose. King cobra is a powerful creature, but as powerful as it is, it will always avoid crossing paths with the mongoose. This small animal, a member of the Herpestidae family, is immune to the venom of many snakes. It grows only about a foot long, but it is a cursed enemy of the cobras. Mongoose normally eats small rodents. Rats are their favorite meal on the table, but have been known to fight and kill venomous snakes. The mongoose won't attack first, but will defend itself if threatened. King Cobras can easily hit that like and subscribe button just like you should do if you haven't done so already. <laughs> no, really, in all seriousness, these snakes can climb trees and swim very fast. They are still on the radar of some other animals. They use multiple defense tactics to protect themselves when they're on alert. They would rather get away than fight most of the time. As we said before, they are extremely loud and their hiss sounds almost like a dog growling. They're doing that by filling up their lungs and slowly exhaling. And so, 
they emit a low pitch, long noise. Unfortunately, their greatest predators are humans. King cobras live almost two decades in the wild, and they can survive for long periods of time without food or water. They aren't overly susceptible to food scarcity, droughts, or other natural disasters. Do they eat their own kind? During the breeding season, the period when males and females seek each other's company, their specialized diet could pose an acute conundrum. Since Indian rat snakes, their primary prey, resemble them to a degree, could they miss it and mistake their mates for a meal? Vision is one way of making a difference on their own from other species. When a male approaches a female, she reveals the yellow chevron marking, spreads her hood, and lowers her head away from her suitor. No rat snake does that. But yet, that won't distract them from eating their own kind. But they have a special ritual. Once the winter is over and the temperature is higher, higher levels of testosterone drive males. The male's lack of appetite for food and the female's coquettish behavior must protect these predators from each other. A Gumbe Rainforest Research Station, Karnataka, got a call from some villagers in April 2008. They reported that a pair of king cobras had taken up residence in their backyard. Field assistants observed the pair for four weeks. Since most other species go their separate ways soon after mating, their devotion to each other was touching. Then, another 11-foot male king cobra showed up, and you can guess what's coming next. A fight. During the ritualized wrestling, they didn't bite each other. The one that repeatedly slammed the other's head down was proclaimed a winner, and the defeated snake crawled away. The winter came, and it jabbed the coils of the nine-foot-long female. But what the male did next shocked the onlookers. He grabbed her by the throat and started choking his partner, pumping in venom. He then started swallowing her when her body went completely limp. This was a shock for the observers as well. Did you know that they never stopped growing? Yep, that's right. They're dubbed as the longest venomous snakes in existence, and they can reach up to 18 feet long with an average length between 10 and 13 feet. Did you know that a bite with the king cobra venom can kill an elephant or around 20 humans? Their bite carries about 200 to 420 milligrams of venom. And because of this, those who got bitten suffer from severe pain and vertigo. In a short time, this leads to paralysis and coma. Upon reaching adulthood, the king cobra snake needs to shed its skin five times a year. Shedding their skin is necessary since they never stop growing, so their body needs to adjust to the prey they can swallow. They're so different from other cobras that they got their own genus. There are other cobras, but none like the king. The sad fact is that the International Union for Conservation of Nature has listed the king cobra as vulnerable to extinction. These snakes face a variety of threats stemming from human activities. What do you think of the king cobra? Let us know down in the comment section below. Make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more awesome videos such as this. Thanks for watching.